Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jacob Bro, and today we're going to be making FF characters in Adobe Anime. It may seem harder at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's going to be pretty easy. So, um, this is over at this is like the third tutorial of it. I have done, uh, two of them, but most of them are just bad ones that I barely put any effort into. This one's going to have lots of effort put into it. I've learned to do it way better than I could before, so let's go and make a new one. Right now, uh, make sure it's 1280 by 720. This is the recommended resolution because the game's resolution is 1280 by 720. Uh, make sure your frame rate is 24 FPS. Make sure our action script 3.0 and the units does that. I don't know if that matters or not. So let's do create. And now we're just on a blank canvas. I usually just change it to like something like this so I don't like my eyes aren't like. You know, I'm y y I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. So I start drawing. Uh, I have a pen, like a drawing tablet pen. So, uh, yeah. Um, that's why I have the pressure settings on. Uh, pressure settings will not work if you're using a mouse. Tilt tilt also won't work because you don't because well, that's not a pen. So if you draw with the mouse, then um, you won't be able to use pen pressure, which is pretty important you could still make art with it i just like won't like you know like this is what it looks like here with a pen so let's just do pen uh mind you have tilt and pressure on and this is what it looks like with a mouse i'm really bad at drawing with a mouse so yeah it's also control z to undo if you want to one do your thing, but yeah, uh, I I use the square. You can also use the circle. I don't really like using the circle though because it makes like my lines look like this, which I don't like. I like when my because it usually looks like this on the mouse. I like when my lines are like you know, like square. It looks it looks like it looks like CS4, and I like the way that the CS4 brush looks. So yeah, you can also uh use this tool. Like let's draw something here. Then you can use this to uh, highlight and then hit backspace to delete it. Um, here's your brush tool, you know, your classic brush. I don't recommend using the fluid brush because uh, it's hard to use, for me at least. Uh, I feel, I feel luck on I don't know if you even need that. You don't need that. I just like using it. Um, there's also other things here. It could change this to like 50, which is like a... It like it like lowers like the brush opacity. It's like it's like layer opacity, but it, it like lowers like the brush opacity. Let's see. Here. I was a different color, but yeah, you guys get one. Okay. So, this is your eraser tool. Your uh, square thing. You can make shapes of it. You can just mess up these things right here. Uh, your fill bucket. Pretty much your average tools. Alright, so. Let's get started with making a character. I was thinking of making, like, a playable character. Uh, let's see. Like, let's just make, like, an FNF sprite. Um, let's draw something. Let's just make, like, a random, like, dude. That looks kind of cool. You can also put your hair on a different layer if you would like to. I uh, you can like animate like hair physics. I don't really like doing that. I also feel like a character that I like put like lots of effort into. Well, let's just do like a. a what can we do? Here, let's just do like a test character. So it's like like let's just start with the head. And then um, I usually zoom in. You gotta make sure that you zoom in and get like all, like all the lines right, like all like the coloring right. So now that we have that, um, you could change the color. I'm just gonna make him, you know, white because he's a test character. All right, now you gotta make sure that you get like all the lines correctly. You gotta make sure that there's like nothing, you know, like coming out. So yeah, as you can see. 
you don't have to do this. I, I, I just like make sure sprites just look better quality. Or right, so. Uh, now we go into shading. You can find your color like for shading like this. Like I say, for example, I would like to do something like this. Uh, I make a new layer, put it over the color. I color on another layer, by the way. Then uh, I get this. Put the alpha back up to um 100. Cooperate with me. Then I delete the layer. Oh wait, no, not yet. You get the color from here. Delete the layer. Then you can fill in. Like the thing. But uh, I don't really like using this type of color because it doesn't really fit, you know, what. So, let me uh, open up one of my FLAs. I have, uh... I have, like, a ton of FLAs, so... Um, yeah. Let me just look for the halfway. I I can't find it. Uh, there we go. Sonic again. Upcoming mod, by the way. I'm creating. I usually just get, like, some, like, my colors from, like, other, like, past products. So that I could, uh, just, you know, get it from here. And then just so I can, like, save it in the canvas and so I don't have to keep coming back and make a new layer. Uh, just save it. Like, color or something. Your colors, because I didn't say it correctly. And now we could shade like this. Uh, so let's just make his head like that. Then we just do this, and that's his head. That's his head now. You could uh, mess around with it a little bit, which is what I like doing. I just like, you know, make the lines look better. So yeah. Now that's a head. Now we convert this to a symbol. Let's make sure that you convert everything to symbols because you're gonna need that later. You don't have to make like everything a symbol. Um, but you could if you wanted to. Alright. Let's go again. Let's see. Alright, now for the body. Um, you could also draw on this size, uh I usually do that. Again. Let's just show like a random like uh, thing like right here. Uh, it's like kind of like coming up with something. Hmm. I'm gonna draw the body. I'm gonna draw the face after. If you guys would like to just go all the way to the face. That's fine. Uh, I'm just like doing it in my personal like order or preference. I'm not. Mm. All right, so that's that. I usually just hide this layer so I can um, you know, like do this correctly. Uh, keep in mind that um sometimes it's it's gonna, it's gonna like fill into like the actual thing. I usually just like hide the thing after. Mm -hmm. All right, so now go into here. We start drawing. Yeah. I just like erase like the excess lines because you don't need this. Um. All right, switch to my other color. I'm also pressing uh, this button right here to switch the to switch colors. This button right here just makes it the colors black and white. If you would like to do like that, but I don't, you know, do that. I don't know. Bring back the head only for this part. 
けど<laughs> uh, I use tweens to animate off enough characters. Just to let you know, I don't use you know frame by frame animation because I don't like doing it. I mean, it's like frame by frame animation when I'm making like an actual animation, like the past few ones I've made. There we go. Let's see, let's just add off the finishing. Finish off everything. Uh, Alright, this should look good. I'm kind of bad at shading, so, um, you could shade this any way you want to. Again, I'm just, this is just a tutorial. I'm just doing a simple character, so I could just animate them pretty fast. And you can like mess around his body a little. So uh go like seventy-five and uh um, rotate this, do this right here. Alright. Yeah, see? Alright, no. Let's make um the arms. Zoom in some more because we're gonna need to. Alright, so now for the arms. This is just like me drawing. You can like skip past this if you just want to get to like the animation. I'm just like drawing like you know the character and what I like want the character to be. All right, let's see. This hand looks a little weird though, the hand, so I'm probably gonna... I don't really have any ideas right now, so I'm just like, you know. Basically for a tutorial. Alright, now for his other arm. You can make your own mics. I have I have one here. I got it from the Tor Expanded mod. Or the Tor Tree mod. I just really like to make something. So you could uh you know uh, you know, use a mic from another asset pack or something. I have asset packs. Uh, uh, I have um, I put a asset pack of life, So if you guys want those, then I'll link them in the description. I only have them for uh, you know, some stuff. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm kind of, you know, like, bad at drawing, so. And you guys don't think this looks good, I understand. Because my art does not look like that, it does not look that good. Alright. There we go. Alright, now. The character's done. Uh. Unhide this. Alright. I'm gonna do his face also. I'm gonna do like these eyes because I like them. Mm -hmm. Alright, now that we have um, our character here, we're gonna make this idle animation. I just say my idle, you can limit whatever you want to. Just make sure that you remember it for, uh, you know, I think. So, no. The, here's how you, I animate. Uh, I do this, insert frame, group classic twin. Put a create frame here. Now you just, uh. By the way, how I selected these, uh, I get one. I go down here. I hold down shift and then I click. So it'll be like this. So you can, um, select over there. So now, uh, I just, you know, move it. Alright, so now to do that. Alright, there you go. You can do uh, ease in out and insert. I usually go with that one. It just looks the best in my opinion. Then you can do this thing. Uh, so then you can, uh, you know, do something like this. I thought I said that's your idle animation. Uh, the, I can make the rest of the animations. Then you can, like, insert the frames that could play in here. Like this. Without oh, flashing, I'm just gonna hide that layer. Oh, you can make the rest of the animations. Um, so let me show you how to make another animation. Then that's probably gonna be, you know, this. Uh, let's duplicate. Let's name it left. It doesn't matter. Like I just put in little caps because I forgot I was on cap 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 caps look. So we can remove the twin. We can do this again. Do this. I just uh, did the shift thing again. Hold on. So now we can do another twin. Yeah. Not yet. All right. So I'm just gonna do like a different um mouth. Oh, let's just do yeah, you know move the eyes over. Uh, there we go. Turn right here. All right. Now, uh, use this. Hmm. You don't need to move it that way. Let's see. Alright, 
Uh, and then if you don't like how it looks, then you could just redo it. Like I don't like how his arms like slams into his um body. So I can like move it back a little. It's like an impact effect for the I like that. I like how it looks like 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 that there. I can just see this. But then it would look like that. Alright, so the so now, so now once you do the rest of your animations then it should be good to export. This is how you export your animations, you just shift. Generate sprite sheet. And um I have an auto size this auto size stack frames. So make sure it's on Sparrow B2. Make sure it's on Sparrow B2. Then um you can like name your character like uh um well, name him um um the jo Joper. And then we do export. Then you should have your sprite sheet in XML. Some here on your uh, Joper sprite sheet and XML. It's all of his animations. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for uh, the um, tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. That would mean a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This uh, took me a bit. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Have a nice night, day, whatever time it is for you. And goodbye.